Today I want to introduce you to a very fun dish, porchetta. As a young chef running around the streets of Italy, this was one of my favorite things to eat. It's actually Italian street fair, and every single street corner had a different style of it. Uh, I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to cook this, and Cheshire pork has made it absolutely simple for us. So this is four of the best cuts of pork in one piece. Chefs absolutely love it. Not only do we have the loin, what would be the spare ribs, what would be the St. Louis style ribs, but also the belly. Got a scimitar here. We're going to just start by cutting the loin out. So we're going to butterfly this. Just means to open it directly through the center without cutting all the way through. Look at that beautiful meat. All right, so we're gonna use some skewers here and we're actually going to puncture the skin of this meat. That's gonna allow as it roasts uh, for the fat that's rendering out at a high temperature to begin to caramelize and crisp up the outside of that skin. All right. And we're just scoring the skin. Beautiful little diamonds all the way across that skin. Let's get a bit of salt in there. So these old world style farming practices with the antibiotic free and the hormone free, it tells us they're not rushing to raise these pigs. What that means for us is A, not only are we doing this in an ethical manner, but B, we know these pigs were taken care of properly. Now we're gonna cross hatch and allow some of our seasoning to drive in. So just put knife to it and you're just tracing a little bit. You're not cutting through too much meat here. Check that out. Beautiful. And as soon as you think you've got the right amount of salt on there, give it a bit more. And rub it right in. Massage that salt in there. Good. Next, our cashew lemongrass pesto. Don't forget the edges. Really get it in those score marks. And then a little citrus just to brighten it up. Take that butterfly loin, set it right in the middle. I'm gonna take a couple scallions and set them right in the center. Just a rough cut on this stuff. We're gonna roll away from ourselves. This is gonna be absolutely magnificent. All right, so now for the trussing. We've got a cotton-based butcher's twine. First, we're gonna tie a double knot. One, two, and then just to make sure it doesn't slip, do it again, one and two. Now I've got all of my string to the left side. I'm gonna take this hand and reach behind and make a loop. And then that's gonna slide right over and pull straight down. All right, now we do it again. And we're starting to get a really nice shape here. And one last time. What I like to do to really give this a little bit more shape, flip it over and start coming down the other side. And just around that first knot and straight down. Find the next rope and come straight down. And I'll come around one more time, tie a little bit of a knot here. So not only are we tying this to keep the shape, uh, but it's also gonna cook more evenly. All right, so we're at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got a medium-sized fire built down below with our deflector shields on, so we're actually gonna cook this indirect. So let's lay this baby right on. Let's wait about two and a half hours, then we'll take an internal temperature and see if we're at that 135 degree mark. Well, let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Listen to this crispy thump. That's my favorite part. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to take this rope off very gently because I don't want to knock off any of these beautiful little diamonds that we've got here, uh, and we're going to let it rest. Let's see what this baby looks like inside. Look at that. <laughs> beautiful. So let's take a nice piece of focaccia. I held a little bit of the marinade aside. Keep it simple. 
So folks, that's the porchetta. Sky's the limit. You can fill it with any kind of filling you want. You can go Italian, you can go Asian, uh, you can go all around the world with it. It's an extremely versatile cup. Uh, you're not gonna find any better porchetta than Cheshire pork. Continue to watch this series as we explore different cuts and different cooking methods. And thanks a lot for hanging out with us.